Learning hybrid photography one day at a time. Become a smarter photographer every day at discovermirrorless.com. It's free and phone and tablet friendly. Welcome everybody to ShootSmarter.com. I am Woody Walters and on behalf of Shoot Smarter, we would like to welcome you to this month's issue of Shoot Smarter. So let's get started. Hey, this week I really would like to talk to you about color and I get no matter where I go no matter where I tour I get every question that I ever get from an audience is bound to be one or the other how do I pick my colors to use in the backgrounds and even though I might do this on a subconscious level that I, I, I don't really consciously think about what particular colors that I'm definitely going to be using within a background I, it, when I look back at my work and especially when I was preparing myself to do this lesson here it, something really dominant on me on, on what I do and it's quite apparent in a lot of my images and I just want to show you this but I'll, I'll take the subject matter and I'll use the opposite colors within that subject matter in order to create my background colors for my backgrounds and I, I really play off of that and so a lot of times I'll play off the same colors that I find in the subject you know like with the smoke and, and the um, brushes here the brush strokes that are in here you can tell that it's been played off you know from the actual bird itself but then what something that I, it just really dawned on me how much how often I really do this but I'll play off opposite colors and so you know we have like these oranges and, and these yellow type colors going on here and if you look here I play off of that with the yellows you know I start using blue and a lot of times I use the same colors you know right here I'm using the same colors and then right here where his head is green if you look right here you'll see you know that I used red and so you know I'm really playing off those opposite colors that, that I'm seeing here and here you got the blue and purple and I'm playing off the colors that are coming off here and it doesn't really matter you know which image that, that you look at, at in mine I'm doing this dark series right now which we're just releasing this week I've had a lot of people ask me you know what do you do you do anything with ducks and wing fowl yeah, type images and I really hadn't done it so I went on out in a shot earlier this week and I came up with these and you, you can see here but you know here again and yes I'm playing with my saturation you know within the image itself and I kind of oversaturate it and so we got these yellows and so on and going here and yes this blue is here but this blue is almost the exact opposite color of these orange yellowish type, type of theme going on here and again you have this blue here and then I'm playing off of that red which is almost you know in the old black and white days you know you would use a red number 25 red filter to really darken down the blue skies so it would stop that so it's almost the the exact opposite color of what my primary color is here and it doesn't really matter you know which one you, you, you're looking at I, I do this a lot and even this you know here is a painting and that, that was done and this man um, was fighting for custody for, for his daughter and he, he finally won the case he wanted me to do this illustration here and so you know if you look up here yeah you can see the skin tones that I'm using the, you know the same skin tones and then the blues and the purples that you're seeing in here are almost direct ripoff colors from what he is wearing in his shirt you know same thing here with their pink and her shirt here you'll see that playing out throughout the whole foreground so it doesn't really matter you know what type of image I'm working on I will use those colors and those themes to play out with it and here you know this one's kind of a contrast because this one's so broken up and in, in, into forms that are making up the shapes of these faces but I'm using the same skin tones that I find in in him that are creating here and the same thing with her you know I'm finding those colors that I'm playing off of and these I kind of randomly did add color you know this is the color of her eyes and, and you know it's ironic but if you look at all these you know both these girls have the same eye colors that are in here and so again I'm just playing off of that and these are colors that are found really deep in, you know in her shadow area and so it doesn't matter you know really what it is this one is an image that I did of my son and I because we're playing the guitar together as we got a couple of gigs you know but if you look here even the red that, that's in my face is the red that's in, in the American flag and although yes I got a blue here and I kind of played a little bit more saturated than the blue shirt that I'm wearing but you can still see color harmony that that I'm using here you know e even the the 
skin falling apart you know you look here that you know this is the same black of the headstock of the guitar same thing with the powder that's breaking off the arm it's the same color and the same density of my arm that's falling off here and the same thing you know this just goes on and on no matter what what part it is this fall off is you know same color as my son's hand it just it doesn't really matter what it is you know I can come in here and this is the warrior that's playing here and yes you got this nice hot light coming down in here and you got you know kind of this yellow and orange skin tones that are coming in here and then I'm playing off almost the exact opposite color of you know what was in his body into the background and then I'm adding colors as I go you know I wanted the blood to, to be in the water here and and you know some of the reflections but then you'll see some of these cyans and even some greens that are coming in here and I even play off that with, with you know the monster snake squid whatever you want to call this thing right here but it, it's kind of neat as far as seeing all that and then I really want to show you this and again I'm not trying to push my beliefs but you know this is an image of Christ and in the background I wanted this gold it's not yellow I wanted a gold color you know that pureness that richness of it and then you can see you know that you got warm but then when you get down in here to where the people are that are raising the spirits that are coming into you know God or to heaven or into Christ you can see here that they're getting really quite warm and then I'm playing off purples which are very majestic but if you really blow this up and look at it you know they're kind of the opposite colors of what are here you know you see this here you're starting to get into these blues and you see these yellows and these cyans you're starting to get into greens and again these purples and so on and so forth and so it's really just a big play off of using the opposite colors of what the colors that I'm using that are in my subject and you can really see that you know come to life here no, no, no matter what it is um, same thing here you know you got that gold background again you know surrounded by Christ and then if you really look at the Christ image depending on this is the full image you can see that I have these subtlety colors that are coming in here you know these purples and these yellows and even a little bit of green playing off that dark stark gold that that's up here and the same thing here you know you got the reds and you got the cyans and then again you got those blues and everything is so warm and inviting right in here and as you go out of the image as you go out of, of the image you see everything starting to turn into these these dark blues and you know a little bit of reds and so on and so again I'm just playing off of that feeling of opposite colors and what they bring to the table and I just really think that that you know I have never realized how much I focus on that and how much I do that and I do it almost on a um, unconscious level it's kind of like you know I, I look at the great guitars Jimi Hendrix Eric Clapton Steve Ray Vaughan you know Santana and they're not the fastest players in the world but but what they play has so much heart and soul and it's just something that they do even you know and it's the same thing here with photography we all have Photoshop we all have you know a Canon or an Nikon we all have our lenses but it's more what we take from that and be able to put into our images and feel from it. I'm not trying to tell you, you know, yeah, only use opposite colors. No, you got to use a combination of, of not only what's the colors that are in your image, but also the colors that, that you know, are the opposite of, of that image. And the same thing is here. If you look here, you know, I got a lot of saturation in there. Look, look how much just that saturation adjustment layer is adding to that. You know, this is probably very, very more typical of the actual color of the bird but look at the pop with that and so you know that there's are some hopefully helpful insights to you about bringing in colors and making up your backgrounds and, and what colors to make to your background for the emotional appeal that you're trying to get out of your viewer and so you know ch check that out or apply that to some of your techniques and some of your own photography I really really think it will help you out and so I am Woody Walters and I just want to thank you again for letting us be a part of your photography be sure to check out where we're introducing those four duck images and if you have any hunters or any high school students that are hunters you know they're going to love these duck images in the background and we're going to leave it kind of in a semi layer you're going to have the background a little bit of layer of the duck so you're going to be able to move them around but just think if you put your hunter here if your son's a hunter and you put him here you know with that duck in the background flying in the background i really think it's going to help tell the story so be sure to check that out 
So there's this month's issue of Shoot Smarter. I think if you apply these treatments to your images, you'll really find that they're going to help you out a lot. And hey, if you really like what you're seeing here, be sure to check out Woody Walters Digital Photo Candy. I think you'll find on this site a lot of the products that will really help you and a lot of instructional videos and teachings that, that will greatly improve your photography. We have Inside Woody's World, which is every other month that comes out. It's only $29.95, and with the discounts that you get with Shoot Smarter, and being a member of Woody's World, it will pay for itself in, in no time with you. It's almost like getting free lessons with the products that you'll be able to buy and the discounts and so forth. So go ahead and check that out. Again, it's Woody Walters Digital Photo Candy, and we will see you here next month at ShootSmarter.com. Until then, shoot from the heart and shoot with passion. We will see you then. Learning hybrid photography one day at a time. Become a smarter photographer every day at DiscoverMirrorless.com. It's free and fun.